All right, everybody, welcome in. How are you guys doing? Let's see what's going on for the week. Let's just see where the reading takes us, shall we? All right, uh, let's see what's going on. Um, if you're looking to learn how to read tarot from me, I have a class and I also have a certification that is starting February 1st. So there's a link below. You can be certified by Soulful Revolution. We're gonna be recommending readers in 2023. Dessert Passage, not dessert. Desert Passage, are you hungry, Mary Jo? Desert Passage, trust that there's a divine plan. Gates of Triumph, vast vistas, expand your horizons. Who's stuck in a box? Are you feeling like you're stuck in a box right now? Because um, this says to me, right? Like coming through those, those walls, whatever they are, like mountains, they're not trees, it's a desert. So it's like mountains or uh, some kind of sand wall. <laughs> All right, something like that. And <clears throat> even coming out of this, look at that, coming out onto the new road twice here and then getting out of the box. So I, I love this energy of the new moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is definitely outside the box. We also have Uranus, Uranus going direct on the 23rd, which means all planets are direct. Uranus rules Aquarius. So there's definitely a lot of ex, exploration. Innovation. Exploration is a little more saggy, but um, innovation is Aquarius. So whatever's not working, Whatever's not working, it's really time to um, use my uh, use some my my theories about journaling. Are <clears throat> this is a really good way to start the manifestation process? So use the journal prompt. Wouldn't it be cool if? And just start writing. That's a great exercise for the new moon that's happening um, today. So. Give that a shot, please. It's zero degrees, zero degrees, one degree Aquarius. So it's right at the beginning, that fresh fool energy. Elemental air. All right, let's see where we go here. I know. Ah, look at this, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful, love that. The Lovers, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Page of Cups. Strength card, lots of courage here, lots of horses, forward movement. The star, there's your Aquarius energy. Nine of cups, oh my word. So the only one here that's a little bit, um, and this is not even, a, not even that big a deal, but the four of pentacles suggests that this all feels like forward movement. This all feels like fated and destined forward movement. So some of you who are traveling, <laughs> Some of you who are getting outside of your box, getting outside of your normal routine, making a decision to do that, I feel like that's gonna go very well. And what I mean by that is you could um, meet somebody new, you could find uh, a new passion, you could find a new place that you really love. There's something here about dreams coming true and wishes coming true very quickly, okay? So we do have you know, Aquarian energy is air energy. So it's like, I, I wish it and experience it. I wish it and it shows up. I, you know, it's very quick. It has to do with alignment though. So for the past few months when we've had Mars in retrograde, it has felt like not a lot of forward movement, <laughs> not a lot of progress. Okay. Because that Mars energy going backwards, it's like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna do something today and then I get blocked. I get, there's something in my way. There's so, something else happens. I've gotta, I've gotta move on from my surroundings. They're holding me back, right? They're sticking me in this box. So some of you are just gonna break free, right? Break out of this, make a decision to walk a new path. Just do it, okay? There's that feeling with that Aquarian energy that it won't be that hard to do. Okay. Like the energy is, is supporting you. What's going on is supporting you. I really like this, this, you know, so let me just say this as the 23rd today, all planets going direct the, the new moon over the weekend. So sorry about my dates getting discombobulated there, but the energy is still happening. Usually that new moon sticks around for a couple days. So we're fine here, but this does feel like, that new moon has definitely set a new path, set a new 
like tweaked you and moved you kind of. So if some of you are feeling that way, yes, that did happen. <laughs> Lovers, Six of Cups and the Star Energy. Some of you have done a lot of really good healing work, right? You've come out of that wall of sand or whatever this is, mountains. Um, and now you can see a stretch in front of you. Now you can see the new thing. This, the Lovers and the Ten of Pentacles. We are going towards something that is both emotionally fulfilling and financially rewarding and stable and solid. Six of Wands. So the, the nice energy here, Six of Wands, Six of Cups, all of this is very beautiful. When I get down here to this Four of Pentacles, I'm like, why? Why is this here? Why is this? It's almost like I'm getting everything I want. I did a reading last week that was like, what if you get everything you want? I feel like you're getting everything you want because you've done the healing work, because you've cleared the path. This is like, okay, when is it all going to go away? When's the next, when's the shoe going to drop? <clears throat> so let's see here. Four of Pentacles. Please clarify the Four of Pentacles for me. Eight of Cups, Emperor, Nine of Swords, okay, and the Devil Energy. Even though you've done the healing work and you've done the clearing work, some of you are terrified that you're going to um, come across another toxic partner, okay? There's something here about also being afraid to take action. What if I get stuck again? And this is only happening because it's happened in the past, but it doesn't mean it has to happen again in the future. Um, I'm noticing here a lot of children. The, the, um, the Nine of Cups is holding a baby, the Ten of Pentacles, children, the Wheel of Fortune in this deck, she's holding a child, Six of Cups are children. So there might be some kind of um, back to the beginning feeling. Some of you are going to be starting families back to the beginning. So some of you are um, connecting with either people from the past and starting families with people from the past connecting with people from the past who have children and you're starting, you know, to, you know, the whole Brady Bunch thing. Um, I do feel like it's very, it's quite a romantic thing. And I feel like you might feel you're letting yourself get swept away, right? You're letting yourself get carried away in the moment of things. And that's not bad. You're, <laughs> you're manifesting in such a positive way, but at some point you go, hold it, what if this all collapses or what if this falls apart? It's very much a worry from, from the past, very much a worry from the past. It's not real, okay? This, is, this worry is not real. Um, I feel like that's a, like you're in a really good manifesting place and then like you fall out of it. And I love the fact that we are in the, still in this Aquarius new moon energy and we're also in the, um, the all planets direct. So I wouldn't give too much credence to this. This feels like a 3 a.m. freak out, you know, like an anxiety in the middle of the night, like this is so great. What if it goes away? Um, I think that's not real. So you could be dealing with, I see Leo, Aquarius, um, Gemini, Sag, Pisces. Let's clarify the six of wands. The Six of Wands, <clears throat> Ten of Wands, Hierophant, Four of Wands, wow, Two of Swords. Um, the reason this is happening, it's going to take courage to step into this because you have had toxic partners in the past. There's no question about it. And the codependency, like, is it really healed? Did I really, am I really able to move forward? Am I really um, able to make this kind of commitment? Look at this, Hierophant and Four of Wands. This is so many positive cards here. It's just the worry. It's the worry that this person's going to turn into a narcissist suddenly. Like, oh my God, I've had that happen a bunch of times. And you're kind of like not really, not really trusting this. Not really trusting this wish granted. I'm going to ask about the star. Fool, there's that fool energy, eight of pentacles, oh, the five of pentacles and the death card. So in the past, what you've, okay, so what you have healed 
is a lack mentality, is a tendency to jump into things without really considering them. And also, I feel like you've done the work on these two things. So those things are going away. They are very much in the, um, the quadrant of being healed. It's like, no more am I worried. Um, I don't feel like you're building this new life on a rickety foundation. You might have done that in the past. This new life, which is coming along, let me get a timing card here. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Well, thank goodness that card came out just as a <laughs> timing card. Some of you take my tarot class, you know this, that when you ask for a timing card, doesn't matter what the card is, just use the, the energy of um, the swords, which are fast, 10 days, okay? So I feel like within 10 days, I mean, this stuff could be fully over. Maybe that's the reason for that. But at any rate, nine, 10 of swords. So we're closing up a chapter where maybe you didn't pay attention to the red flags, but I don't feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like that's the shift. You're now paying attention to red flags. Um, being more cautious, being more courageous at the same time. Can you, can you be cautious and courageous at the same time? Yes, I think you can because you're taking the steps forward, but you're not jumping off a cliff, okay? You're not doing something that's outrageous, which is why the Four of Pentacles showing up is just like a little worry from the past that says, be careful, pay attention. Is this person, I don't know what this is. <laughs> is this person exhibiting any of those red flags? I feel like this is a very good opportunity and let's see where it takes us, all right? So the link is below. I'll pull cards for each zodiac sign just to give you a little to give you a little additional um, uh, guidance and let's see where this goes within 10 days, all right? So get cracking, McCracken. <laughs> link is below if you wanna continue on with me, otherwise Pathfinders, let's just keep going. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.